this one of treasury of the USA, who was coming to steal our minerals and our wild life. I don't know what she was doing. America can never be welcomed here in South Africa, in the African continent, because we know when they come here, they are coming to check what more can we steal and finish off this continent. Some people are asking, what exactly is China doing in Africa? What's your take on that? Western countries uh, have come to Africa for centuries to rob Africa of its resources. They should be admitting what they've done. Some are rich because of the resources they took from Africa. They never thought of helping Africa to develop. They subjugated Africa. They took the political power, economic power, and then made us, therefore, socially to have no power at all. We had to fight to liberate ourselves. They were never here to help. They were here to rob. Here's how America cheats developing countries out of trillions of dollars and builds their global empire. The World Bank, the US Agency for International Development, and other foreign aid organizations go into developing countries and fabricate reports of how well they do economically with modern infrastructure, energy, and agricultural systems. America then tells these countries that they will lend them the billions upon billions of dollars it costs to modernize, all under the guise of altruism. However, a condition of these loans is that American companies must build all these projects. In essence, most of the money never actually leaves the United States. It's simply transferred from banks in Washington to offices in New York, Houston, or San Francisco. If the plan is successful, the developing country is forced to default on its debt payments within a few years because they were lied to about how much their GDP would increase. When this happens, America starts demanding its pound of flesh, which can come in the form of control over United Nations votes, the installation of military bases, or corporate access to precious resources. With all of this outlined, ask yourself, do you think financial institutions like BlackRock really care about the people of Ukraine when they say that they need $750 billion to rebuild the nation?